If kings and queens rise and fall with the signs in the skies... The exact year that the cycle of the moon was completed. Are we really... Enjoying these videos? Don't forget to show your support. Hit the like button and share to spread the word. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest content. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. We're always open to suggestions. Also, visit the website at jamesanthonyreport.com to support our Patriot-approved sponsors. Your purchase keeps us on the air and ensures we continue providing you with info on the topics you like most. Now back to the report. Come on, man! From ancient Greece and Homer's Odyssey to the Holy Bible and the death of Christ, John Milton's work Paradise Lost in the 1600s, and Shakespeare's King Lear, we find examples of solar eclipses depicted as agents of change and sometimes even chaos. The British are coming! The British are coming! The West shall be freed of the British Isles. Eight total eclipses have occurred in the United States since 1776, and though the event is no longer a rarity in the modern sense, it still strikes at the core of what people fear most. The eldest sister of the Britannic island shall be born 15 years before her brother. Perhaps what ancient writers and even more modern ones like Mark Twain and Isaac Asimov understood about the human condition is that despite all of our accomplishments, we can't control much and we can't stop what's coming. The lost thing is discovered, hidden for many centuries. Pasteur will be celebrated as a demigod when the moon completes her great cycle. Beyond even this, it gives pause to the idea of free will in a sense. If kings and queens rise and fall with the signs in the skies... The exact year that the cycle of the moon was completed. Are we really independent? Or just automatons? We recognize that much of this may bring discomfort to some people and perhaps disturb others. It should be noted among all the conspiracy theories surrounding Eclipse 2024 that in his 1555 text titled The Prophecies, Nostradamus foretold that the King of the Isles would be driven out by a force. King Charles, very sad announcement coming out of Buckingham Palace yesterday. He has been diagnosed with cancer. Now. Essentially, the shock announcement dropped, and here is what we know so far. It will be replaced by one who bears not the mark of a king. We watched what happened in this family. We watched how one woman was able to convince, via really an act of witchcraft, her husband to fund the lifestyle that she's always wanted as an A-lister because she didn't have the talent to turn her into an A-list celebrity. With many believing this to be a take on King Charles and Prince Harry. When the tomb of the great Roman is found, a pope will be elected the next day. He will not be approved of by the Senate, poisoned, his blood in the sacred chalice. The death of and rise of a new pope. Benedict XVI is now 95 and his health has been deteriorating. Born in Germany, he became pope in 2005 before stepping down in 2013 after nearly eight years. He cited a lack of strength of mind and body due to his age. He became the first pope in some 600 years to resign. If we believe what he said about our past, then there's a fair chance that what he said about our future is true also. And if that's the case, then we must listen very carefully. For Nostradamus, as he said, provides us with a warning. He does give us this hope. We can change our destiny, but we must heed the warning and act accordingly. For if we ignore it, we may not be around to remember how accurate he was. World War III and the coming of the Antichrist waging a three decades long war are listed among the royal family quatrains. The heavens shall show signs. In the year that Saturn and Mars are equally fiery, the air is very dry, a long meteor. Nostradamus clearly suggests here that there will be signs in the sky and warnings, a long meteor. Literal or figurative, but this verse reads as a celestial fire on the royal edifice. People and beasts shall be a horrible destruction. Blood, thirst, famine, when the comet shall run. Near its peak brightness, a bright light during the total solar eclipse in 2024 will be Comet 12P Pons Brooks. 
This is alongside six planets that will be visible by binoculars in the darkness. And Comet 12P Pons Brooks is known as the Devil Comet. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Nostradamus does tell us the war will end and that the West will ultimately win due to an unexpected alliance, an alliance between the USA and Russia. Forget the adherence to any one doctrine or confirmation bias, but just using history as our guide. We can see that the solar eclipse in 2024 is the prelude to major shakeup. When those of the Arctic Pole shall be united together, there shall be in the East great fear and trembling. One shall be newly elected that shall bear the brunt. Rhodes, Constantinople shall be dyed with barbarian blood. Those of the Arctic Pole can only mean Russia and the U.S. This is James Anthony. Reporting. And notably Islam against the West and Christianity, ultimately in alliance with Russia. It spreads over most of the world, but specifically in Europe. After that, there will be peace, possibly for as long as a thousand years. After that peace, we're not told much of what will happen, except that ultimately, and he actually gives the year, the world will end.